Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in. I'm currently in Shenzhen, China, and I'm excited to take you on a tour of our injection molding factory that supplies products globally. Let's explore this intricate injection molding process together and look forward to this exciting visit. Let's go. Injection molding is a manufacturing process used to produce parts by injecting molten material into a mold. This process uses a variety of materials including glass, uh, metals, elastomers and most commonly known are uh, thermoplastic polymers. The production process of injection molding begins with the creation of a mold. This mold is mostly made of metals such as steel or aluminum and undergoes fine processing to ensure product description and requirement fulfillment. The material is then placed into a heated barrel where a screw feeds the material into a molten cavity to be cooled and solidified, ultimately forming the plastic product. The injection molding process involves six consecutive stages which include clamping, injection, packing, cooling, ejection and recycling. These stages directly determine the quality of the product. Filling is the first step in the entire injection molding cycle. The shorter the filling time, the higher the molding efficiency. Usually, the weld strength generated by the welding in the high temperature area is better. This is because in a high temperature environment, the activity of the polymer chain is good and they can penetrate and intertwine each other. Additionally, the two melted materials temperature is close to each other in the high temperature area and the thermal properties of the melted materials are almost the same, increasing the strength of the welding area. In contrast, the welding strength is weaker in the low temperature area. During packing, the plastic flow rate is slow and the pressure become the main factor affecting the process, rather than flow. Therefore, when selecting an injection molding machine, it's necessary to consider whether the clamping force is strong enough to prevent flash from occurring and make the packing stage work effectively. Under this new injection molding environment conditions, we need to consider some new injection molding process such as gas assisted molding, water assisted molding, and the forming injection molding. Well designed cooling systems are essential for injection molding molds. This is because the molded plastic product needs to cool to sufficient hardness to avoid any deformation caused by external forces. Therefore, cooling time directly affects the molding cycle and product rate of plastic products. The thickness of a plastic product, movement material, and cooling method, cooling water pipe configuration, cooling fluid flow rate, properties, plastic type and processing parameter setting will affect the cooling rate and quality of the product. Ejection is the last step in the injection molding cycle, even though the product is formed and cooled. The ejection process still has a significant impact on the quality of the product. Therefore, the ejection stage is an indispensable step in injection molding. 
and multiple factors need to be considered when designing and implementing it. Scientific and rational rejection design can increase production efficiency, ensure product quality, reduce costs, enhance competitiveness, and meet industrial and environmental standards. Injection molding is an efficient and high quality manufacturing process that can be used to produce uh, different shapes and sizes of plastic parts. With the development of economic globalization, uh, injection molding has brought convenience to our lives. With fast, efficient, and low cost being synonymous with injection molding. Thank you for watching, and I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Bye bye.